Okay, so remember that they're changing my voice. This video is about Dante's Inferno. This is part two. In part one, I went over the first circle, people in limbo. Second circle, people pursuing, you know, lust and erotic desire and false conceptions of, of love. The third circle, the gluttons. The fourth circle, the avarice and greed. Okay, you know, people saying they're about their money, whether it's a corporate person, whether it's a female who says, you know, she's chasing financial stability, right? Okay, now, if, if that money becomes too much of a factor in your life, then instead of being in the second circle for chasing false perceptions of love by including financial stability, and they're put into the fourth circle. Now we're on the fifth circle. There's a waterfall that is going down to the river of Styx, which is a river in um, mythology, and again, Styx it goes back to stick fighting, stick sparring. There's a lot of connections being straightforward and honest through the use of the stick. It was called Tatib in Egypt, and the Greeks were very much inspired by Egypt, and they even had a, the Ptolemies had, were in Egypt uh, in the foreign period. Okay, and, and they had a lot of rituals that were related to Egyptian uh, mythology. So, of course, Christ on the cross, the tree of life, the very stick connections, right, and, and how it resembles a penis and so on and so forth. Okay, so the fifth circle of hell is a swampy river where the wrathful fight. So these guys, in a sense, their problem is they think with their dick, but not necessarily limited to males. So it's the female counterpart of that. They're just angry people. They don't use their head. They're fighting with each other. And these people make the world hell, right? You know, so to speak. They they, they bring hell. They, they're part of why it's hell. Part of why it's hell is people in limbo who don't obey God through me. They're just trying to, you know, be lukewarm, okay? It's people pursuing false love instead of insisting on true love. So everyone's confused about what true love is. It's part of why the world is hell. You know, the top layer of hell. Okay, and then there's layers in the top layer. Okay, true hell is when you die and your soul goes to hell. But this is the top layer of it because people said, give us Barabbas uh, instead of following God through Christ. The Christos, the anointed one, the one he set apart to lead. Like if I, you know, say I'm a king over you, right? And I send somebody, I say you, and I tell you to follow somebody else, right? Okay, and you don't follow that person. Okay, can you say, well, you know, that I'm, I'm disobeying that person and not you? No, it's the same thing with God sending me as leader. When you don't follow me and obey God through me, Okay, then you're rebelling against God. And that's part of the, that confusion, right? Where people are pursuing false love and, and that's a result of their false idols that they're following and so on and so forth. You see the gluttony, you see the greed, okay? And you see the wrath. Now in the sixth circle is the fire cemetery of heretics. Now listen carefully what their, their problem is. And this is interesting, right? The first place you see after the gates of dis, which divides the non-intentional sins from the intentional ones. Okay, so as soon as you go into the sixth sin, the sixth circle, these are people who deliberately, right? It's like Freemasons, corporate people, military generals, what have you. Anyone who calculates, people in the military in general, police officers, anyone who calculates, right? Teachers, someone who says this is what they think that they should do, and they're deliberately doing it, okay? The first place you see after the gate of dis, which divides the non-intentional sins from the intentional ones, it's not a coincidence, it's called the gate of dis, right? Dissing somebody, disrespect. Also, dis, D-I-S, backwards is side. Which side are you on, right? The demons guard the gates, and Virgil and Dante get scared. The demons do not let them in, and Virgil tries to go in by himself and open it from the inside, but the demons shut the gates. However, an angelic figure emerges from the river Styx and opens it from, him, from them, excuse me, for them. The demons are reprimanded. Here's another proof that they're not supposed to try to tell me what to do, okay? The demons are reprimanded by angelic figures. These are people who either are angels, is one way to interpret it, or it's somebody who is playing the role of an angel. So when someone comes into the idea of an angel, whether they are an angel or not, the demons are not supposed to try to, you know, say that their power supersedes them. And I've proven definitively that only I am Christ in reality, okay? But I've come into that idea. Which means even the devil himself is not supposed to try to tell me what to do. And they're not supposed to persecute me. I command them to not persecute me. And I've commanded them before and they keep doing it. Right? Which goes back to piling their sins up even more. And there's a reason why that is. Because if you do it God's way, you can be a demon and still get the things you want in this world before you go to hell to, to a large degree. But if you fuck with me, all bets are off. Okay? There's no words for how much you're going to suffer in the afterlife and how much disgraced you are now. Because everyone's like, look, you're supposed to be following, you know, people who are sages and people who are scribes, learned people. So why are you such a dumbass, right? Why don't you know not to mess with Christ, right? It's fucking a, a disgraceful thing. If the richest, most powerful person in the world or you're poor, it's pathetic. Okay. So on the sixth cir circle, 
the Epicureans are convicted of heresy. Now, who are the Epicureans, right? They're people, okay, who believe that when the body died, so did the soul. They believe that pleasure is above all as they find tranquility. Okay, now, what happens to them? They're put in burning tombs. Okay, it's symbolic of their mistake. Where, the, you know, wickedness burns like a fire is what it says in Isaiah. Okay, so it says that these guys who put pleasure first. So a lot of you say, well, you know, what did the, the second circle do wrong? Right? It's the degree of intention that went into seeking pleasure. If they calculate like Freemasons in them and they say this is what true love is, it's in the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order, and this is what Masonic Luciferian thought is like in Pike's book, Moral and Dhamma, and they say, okay, that they're going to choose the second, then they're going to go to at least the sixth circle of hell, okay, where this is symbolic, right? They're not literally put into a body in a burning tomb where it's on fire, but the person is estimating the extreme amount of punishment they're going to suffer. And the word estimate is a play on words for set, I, mate. E-S-T becomes S-E-T, set, I, mate. And set is another word for the devil, for Baal, for Jupiter, who changes forms, for Zeus, who changes forms, what have you. And of course, set has various forms, the jackal, the hippo, the snake, what have you. Okay. Now, one, one is, okay, there's also a vile smell, okay, because they're filthy. And there's other reasons for that, but let's just keep going. You know, they're, they're the walking dead, right? The, the body without the soul is dead. Faith without works is dead. James and so on and so forth. So the people who wrote this were obviously inspired by the Bible and Greek mythology. And one game they're playing, because the devil likes to pretend to be God, is they use Zeus at, at times in place of God. Okay? But obviously, that's just the devil trying to trap you because the devil wrote the book. Okay, as a jigsaw puzzle, right? This very like poetic kind of confusing book, just like the Bible, to try to get you to make mistakes because the devil wants you to fall into one of these circles so he can torture you, right? That's why Dante resembles the Marquis de Sade. If you look at the different pictures of Marquis de Sade on the internet, one of them looks very similar to uh, um, to Dante, you know? Seven, okay, seventh circle. Fledged in that valley, which is divided into three, a circle of violence with three smaller circles. So in the seventh circle, there's three small circles. Okay, and there it's, it's a circle of violence that includes three subcategories. The first one is people who are there for violent acts against others and their property. Okay. The second is people who are there for violent acts against themselves, including suicide. Now there's a distinction to be made here because Jesus' death was a form of suicide. John the Baptist's death was a form of suicide, right? Because they said, that's crazy. You know, now if you, someone was hacking your brain, okay, to the extreme, and as time goes on, okay, you, you said, I'm going to commit suicide rather than let them take me, take over my brain, or rather than them change me into an abomination so I can't be a lamp on a stand if you're in the divine order, then that's not a, a demonic suicide. That is simply martyring yourself, right? So you have to understand the, the measuring line and the plume line, Isaiah 28, 17, what is right and what is wrong? You know, why don't you judge for yourself what is right? And the body, it means nothing. The spirit means everything. But so who, what, when, where, how, why? Three, people here are people are here for violent acts against God or nature. So in the third one is people who are dumb enough to persecute me directly or to give those orders or to be complicit, right? To be an instrument, an accessory, an instrument of persecuting me. And it says in Proverbs 18, 9, one who slack his work is brother to one who destroys. So we see when we look at the people's sins, okay, that... You know, we see there's a certain intention these days that clearly puts them past uh, the sixth circle. So everybody on this planet right now who's not in the divine order is clearly at least guilty of the th the, the worst circle in the seventh, the worst subcircle in the seventh circle of hell for violence against God and I by being part of the spirits that are persecuting me by being slack in their work, by being gang stalkers, what have you. Okay. So, you know, well, I'm almost had, let me just read this quickly, I guess. Okay. So people are there for violence against one's fellow man. People are fully immersed in boiling blood, and those who did just assaults are partially immersed. They cross the river with Nisus helping them in myth. Hercules killed him for trying to rape his wife or raping her after he and his wife rode on the, his back across the river. 
He meets a guy in the form of a tree who killed himself after being wrongly committed for treason. He's in a barren, desolate region where flakes of fire fall from the sky for people who have committed violence against art and nature. They were laid out in burning sand. He sees someone in the sand who is not affected. That person had yelled that not even Zeus could stop him from entering Thebes during the siege of Thebes.